Hi, I'm Deepika Padukone. I'm an actor, producer, and philanthropist. I'll be opening up my little black book and bringing you into my world. Subscribe to the Bazaar channel so you don't miss an episode. So another very important part of my little black book is uh, skin, hair, and everything to do with feeling and looking beautiful and glamorous. I feel like we all grow and we all evolve, and sometimes things that you don't like, you kind of embrace them. For example, I didn't ever like a center parting slick hair, and now we do it all the time. There was a time when I didn't like doing anything under the eye, and now I love sort of you know, just that little definition under the eye with mascara. I'm sure in this entire process, there have been tons of looks that I would look back at and be like, what was I thinking? I can't think of one. I can actually think of one. <laughs> if there's one thing that I've really consciously tried to stay away from is to learn to do my own uh, hair and makeup, I really would leave that, my styling included. I really would leave that to the professionals. I'm Sandhya Shekhar. I've been working with Deepika for over a little two and a half years now. I've been working with her for about 10 years. The event was in Macau and uh, we were at an after party. And um, I was having a little dance and Deepika comes up and we, we had a little dance together. And uh, she said, you know, I've been trying to uh, work with you so many times, but you're always busy. And uh, I said, you've got to book in advance to pick us. And you've got to, you know, if you know your dates in advance, just book in advance. That's when it really started happening and we started uh, working together a lot. So that's where the bonding really happened. And not only the professional friendship, but also the, the friendship uh, within that uh, blossomed and the trust and the comfort factor and, you know, everything that goes along with it, so. I had done about um, close to eight years in the industry and I remember that I was nowhere interested in, you know, doing celebrity makeup. But I also remember that the only person that I was keen to work with was the picker. And one day I get this call because I worked with her stylist, Shalina, and I think she had suggested me and uh, the next thing I know, I got a call from Deepika's team saying that uh, we want you to do her makeup for like a small event. And that's how it happened. And um, there was an instant connection. She was extremely warm. She was exactly the same person that, you know, I had seen her off and, you know, when I met her personally, that was the instant connection for the two of us. I feel like I went through a phase when clean, beautiful skin, focus on the lashes and a bright red mouth. It's almost like if anyone else did a red mouth, it was like, that's Deepika's look. I don't like too much foundation. I don't like caking too much or layering too much. I like my freckles to show through or any discoloration that I might have on my skin. I really don't mind, you know, all of those things coming through because when it's cakey, I don't know, I get really conscious of that. I just feel like I want to see my skin. I think the Pika's signature look would be the no makeup look. I don't have to put like more than two drops of foundation on her. Natural warm tones is her go-to colors. In terms of blush, we uh, generally stick to, you know, uh, palettes like these, which are more warmer, which is more closer to her skin tone. She's excellent at doing her own brows. It's been two and a half years and I've never done her eyebrows ever. That's because I trust her the way she does it. So she does her own brows for everyone out there who doesn't know. I remember the very first movie that I did, Om Shanti Om. Shanti Priya, the character that I played, is a yesteryear heroine. And to, uh, to help me look like a yesteryear heroine, the eyeliner was the focus. And the eyeliner that we used in that movie became extremely popular after that. Every makeup artist that I worked with, brides would go up, go up to them during their wedding day and say they wanted the, 
the Shanti Priya eyeliner. That's the name of my character, or the Dipika eyeliner. It was the signature sort of winged liner that I did for many, many years. With film, it's very different. I mean, it's quite restrictive hair-wise in a sense because obviously the actress is playing a character. The film works hard because obviously, well, myself being such a perfectionist as well, I do tend to get a little bit flustered because, uh, you know, continuity issues. Hair moves all the time. Editorial is my favourite because, um, you know, obviously you can be more creative. And what I love about editorial is that you're creating an image. And you're creating a beautiful image. When it comes to deciding a specific look, we end up uh, doing a lot of research with, you know, the latest runway looks that are out there, a lot of editorial looks that are out there. It's a team collaboration. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll come up with certain ideas or uh, the stylist might come up with certain ideas uh, or the makeup artist. Uh, we're all a great team. We, we work really well together. We trust each other. We, uh, we respect each other. Once the outfit is ready, um, I take to her at least two or three different looks that I think would work with that particular outfit. A can happens after Met, so it's a little chaotic because we're pretty much like finishing Met and then running to Cannes. Cannes gives us that creative element of, yeah, being fashionable and being creative, but at the same time, it's still got to look beautiful and still got to work on camera and work on her. You know, she's got to look amazing. When we saw the outfit, I mean, we were just, the dress, we were just like, wow, blown away. Uh, it was pretty spectacular. As soon as uh, uh, Sanya, the makeup artist and myself, saw the headband, we were like, we love the headband and Deepika was like, yeah, I'm up for it, I love it too. And so she tried it on and we we're like, yep, yeah, this is it. It was a lot of fun working on Deepika's wedding. Uh, obviously uh, one of her biggest days in her life and uh, such an honor to be a part of that. Uh, it was a lot of fun. First of all, uh, Deepika trusts me a lot, obviously. We have that kind of a relationship. So we, we didn't have to do any trials or anything like that. But we did have like a small wine and cheese party at a place where we were just discussing looks. It's a special day, it's a very special day. So, you know, there's photos, there's video, videoing, there's, there's all sorts of stuff, you know, and, and they're long days. After events, the partying, the, the dinners, the this, that. She's got to look fantastic. Um, she's, the, the hair's got to last. You, the last thing you want is, is, you know, hair coming out, you know, bothering in her face or this and that and the other. So, so the hair had to be simple. It had to be super chic and very sturdy so that it, you know, it held all the, the you know, the, the jewelry, the Indian jewelry and the dupatta, the veil on top and, you know, all that stuff that went along with it. So, you know, there's a lot of heaviness there. Also, um, the back of the bun, you know, which you couldn't see because of the veil, but there was a lot of beautiful uh, gajra. It, it, they're basically um, rows of jasmine uh, blossoms. So it was all filled in the back with that. And, you know, it was quite extraordinary. She looked, she looked spectacular. A lot of times it was picking up hues and tones from the, um, the outfit that she was wearing. She was wearing a lot of these beautiful designer outfits from Sabya Sachi and uh, I think one or two from like uh, Abu Jani Sandeep. It was like pushing my own limits with, you know, Indian wear, which I was very happy about. She, I think she was very happy about as well. So creatively, it's, it's been very enriching, I must say because she's somebody who completely trusts me with what I do and that's something that we've worked on for the last few uh, years that we, we've been working together. I feel like I really and truly came into my own in 2011, 2012, I was doing this movie called Cocktail and I played this character called Veronica. Up until then, I led a life where I was conducting myself in a way that one is expected to or speak a certain way or dress a certain way and I feel like through that movie and through that character I actually somewhere started becoming comfortable with myself and I felt like from then on whether it's anything big or small uh, any decision or choice that I've made in my life I feel like I've been honest in those choices and I feel like I've feel truly liberated uh, from that time on. And I feel like it shows in, in my characters, in my movies, and in everything else that I do.